the Strong Mom channel. My name is Denise, founder and creator of Strong Mom. And I'm, as a personal trainer, I find that a lot of my clients really um, complain about low back pain, especially after C-section, after having an epidural or a spinal block. And they blame it on those things. And a lot of times it's not that. It's actually two other things that we're gonna be hitting on in this video. Uh, one of them is that our glutes are not working, our glutes are not turned on as they should. Maybe they become weakened due to postural changes in pregnancy. Um, and the other thing is our core muscles. Our core muscles have become weakened. Maybe we don't know how to, how to turn them on. And I get this from a lot of moms. Oh, my core feels mushy. I feel like, where did my, you know, my, my stomach muscles go after my surgery? Um, and so our, when that happens, what takes over is our accessory muscles, which is our low back. So if we don't, aren't using our glutes, if we're not using our deep core, our low back takes the brunt of everything, obviously leading to aches and pains. So in these exercises today, we're trying to alleviate that. It's not gonna happen overnight. You're gonna need to work on it. So are you guys ready to do this? So the first thing we're gonna do is warm up our glutes and just roll these babies out. So you got a foam roller at home, I want you to sit on it and I'm going to show you on the side view. So we're sitting on our roller and you can just hang out here. You can bring your knees over to one side and roll up and down on that glute. So right now my knees are facing in the direction of the left and I'm rolling out my left glute muscle. If you want to make this a bit um, more intense for you, you can take that left ankle onto the right knee, bring that knee down and again roll here. So it's up to you and where you are and how comfortable you feel after having your baby, after your C-section. And so what we're doing is we're just relaxing those muscles because a lot of times after pregnancy, those muscles are really, really tight and really gripped. So we want to let them go. We want to re relax them so that we can use them. All right, other side as well. And just rolling up and down. And on C, you can see I'm not rolling on my tailbone. I'm just rolling on that one glute muscle only. And again, you can take that knee on top and roll up and down. So to remind you, when you're rolling, think about the knee that's up, that knee you wanna place down, like in a downward motion, and that is the glute muscle you're rolling out. All right, this feels good, right? If you are really tight in the glutes, you're, you might think this is a little bit painful. So whenever you're rolling out, you wanna, I always say on the hurt meter scale, uh, number between 1 and 10, 10 being excruciatingly painful, you don't want to go any higher than like an 8, okay? And if you're like at an 8, just take it slow and, you know, maybe do a little bit now, maybe a little bit later and come back to it. I promise you it will be easier and it will become less painful. Okay, so we've rolled out our glutes. If you're a glute gripper and you're gripping your butts, this is going to be really good for you, right? Because our muscles can't work when they're grip, grip, grip. We have to loosen them up. Okay, we're just going to bring our roller out here. And I know some of you are thinking, hey, wait, aren't we gonna roll our back? No, we never wanna roll over our lower back. I'm gonna show you something else for that. So we're gonna lie down on our backs. And what we wanna do is activate our core muscles. And I know a lot of you will think core. Okay, I gotta suck in and breathe in and brace. I need to you know, activate my abs. It's actually not what we wanna be doing. We wanna be focusing on the deepest layers of our core, which is our transverse abdominis. Now, if you're not sure how to do this, I want you to check out this video here because we're gonna be activating our pelvic floor and our deep core to be doing a couple of these exercises. So check out this video if you're not sure how to do it. I'll walk you directly through it so you can know exactly how to do it. All right, so right here, I just want you to inhale through your rib cage, thing, rib cage expansion. On the exhale, to activate pelvic floor and transverse abdominis. Picking up that blueberry and relax it. We're gonna go for 10 reps here. Inhale, expand. Exhale. Inhale, release the blueberry, release the pelvic floor. And exhale, engage pelvic floor, transverse abdominis, pull it all the way up, up, up. Inhale, expand. Now, if it's uncomfortable for you to be lying on your back for whatever reason, you can also be doing the same thing in side lying position. So we'll do the last five repetitions here. Inhale. 
Exhale. Really focus on releasing that blueberry, releasing the pelvic floor all the way down. And then on the exhale, pick it up again. I really like to do these exercises before bed. And again. Last repetition. Inhale down. Nice job. We're going to roll over onto our back. And we're going to be activating our glutes here. So what we're going to do is do a bridge. Get into that bridge. And I want you really squeezing your glutes all the way up. On the way down, we're going to release it. So exhale, squeeze up. Inhale down. Now, I don't know where you are in your body, your postpartum body. Maybe you're somebody who needs to release the glute muscles, right? Release all the gripping. If, in that case, you want to focus on foam rolling. If you're somebody who has loose glute muscles, you it's hard to be doing this, then I want you to focus on really doing this and activating your glutes, really working on um, strengthening those glute muscles. Right? We need to have a nice balance between uh, relax, relaxing and contracting all of our muscles. All right, we're going to go for five more. Now, if you want to build in your pelvic floor contraction here, you've got two in one here. We're working our deep core and our glutes. Last one, we're going to hold it at the top, and I want you to hold it here, and we're going to pulse it for five, four, three, two, and last one, and bring it down. Nice job. We're going to roll over and come on into doing some fire hydrants. So working our glutes again. So palms on the floor, your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. What we're gonna do is work on just extending that leg out. Again, we can do two and one here and really work on that deep core pelvic floor. So working on the core, working on the glutes at the same time. Exhale, activate pelvic floor as you lift that leg out. Let's go five more on this side. Last one. All right, we're gonna turn this into a donkey kick. I want you to start here. We're gonna bring that leg up and down. Now, make sure that low back is not moving. We don't wanna be swinging like this, okay? We don't want this, uh-uh. We want a nice flat back. stretch that out, feel free to do so. All right, so I want you to come, and I have my ottoman here. You could use a, um, a chair, a bench, whatever you have. Um, 
propped up against the wall. I'm not going to prop mine up against the wall, um, but you can prop yours against the wall so it's not going to be sliding. And so we're going to be working on our glutes again. Now, if you're somebody who already has really, really tight glutes, I want you to focus more on releasing those glute muscles. So go back to your roller and really start rolling them out and spending lots of time. Like maybe um, a minute in the morning, minute in the afternoon, minute in the evening, three minutes a day, just rolling them out. Okay, three minutes, but like 30 to 60 seconds on each glute muscle. All right, so we're gonna come to our, um, our ottoman here. And what we want to do is bring about our bra strap height to the ottoman. So we're working on strengthening our glutes here. So some of you, it depends how high your uh, bench or whatever it is. So I'm just gonna prop myself up here. And what we're gonna be doing essentially is a glute bridge but elevated. So this is called the hip thrust. Now at the top of the hip thrust, you want a 90 degree angle here. So I'm gonna bring my um, butt down and squeeze up all the way. And I want your head, your neck looking forward. I know your head might get a little bit heavy. That's okay. And if you have a bench, feel free. You can put your arms out for support here. Squeeze on the way up. And again, if you can, we can activate our deep core pelvic floor on the way up. Inhale down. Exhale up. You guys got it. All right, let's go five more. Now, once you're used to this exercise, you can even load it up and add, you know, a weight here, uh, 10 pounds, whatever it may be, just to make it more challenging and difficult for you. Last one. All right, let's hold it and we'll do five pulses. For five, four, three, two, and one, and come on down. Nice work, okay. Getting rid of that, take a quick drink, making sure that you are always staying hydrated. All right, so working those glutes again, you're gonna come into just a nice kind of like kneeling on the floor. I want you to squeeze your glutes as you come up. So, resting here, I want you to exhale, come up, squeeze. Inhale down. Notice how at the top I'm not doing this, okay? We don't want to be shifting our hips forward. We want to squeeze our glutes. We don't, all we have is our spine. We don't want to injure our spine. We have rib cage up here that supports our back, which is fine for foam rolling, but we don't have a rib cage down here. So we don't want to be doing that. So get rid of your roller. We're going to be doing a really nice uh, stretch here for your low back. So what I want you to do, oh, come on the side here. I want you to bring your right hand out to your side, palm flipped up, and I want you to slide your hand out. Now, I want you to feel your left side butt muscle, I want that sits bone. If you feel your butt, you got a sits bone. Keep those bones to the ground. As soon as you start to, you know, think, feel that you lift up off the ground, I want you to stop there. Then you're gonna take your left hand and you're gonna walk out forward in front of you. So it just feels like you're being pulled in those two separate directions. So where you're gonna be feeling that stretch is your QL muscle in your low back, just stretching that out. And I want you to drop your head if you feel and take a few breaths here. And every time you exhale, you might be able to go a little teeny centimeter, millimeter deeper. Remember, keep those sits bones on the ground. And come back up. We're gonna do the other side. Flip your palm up and nice slide out to the left. Ooh, I feel like I can't go as far as this side. And then your right hand walk out in front. 
Oh, this feels good on this side. This stretch is so yummy. Now, for some of you who have really tight QL muscles in your back, this will not feel as comfortable as it does for me. So just take your time. Um, and if it's excruciatingly painful, don't do it. Um, but as I said, usually with stretching, with foam rolling, it does get easier as those muscles become um, more lengthened or as those muscles become more relaxed. This feels good. And come on up. All right, mom. So there are some exercises that you can be doing um, on a daily basis for alleviating some of that back pain. And I know you guys really care about tummy, the way that it looks, the way that you're functioning. Um, not only just pain, uh, right? I know a lot of my uh, postpartum moms are like, oh, what happened to my, my stomach muscles? I feel like they're shot. I can't do all the simple things I used to do. Now I want you and I invite you to come and join us in the My Tummy Fix program, uh, which will teach you how to restore your core and as well as uh, to minimize and heal diastasis recti if you do have abdominal separation. So all the details are below. I run a free workshop every seven or eight weeks inside the Strong Mom Community Facebook group. So make sure to join us in the Facebook group as well. I'll put those details in the links below. Uh, lastly, make sure to pick up my flat belly after baby ebook with 10 holistic ways to get a flatter belly after baby without surgery, dieting, or extreme uh, exercise. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.